Y Zapper versus LCD panel. That sound you probably heard was my computer speakers picking up the uh, the interference from this thing. I'm trying to do this through the camera. Zapper versus LCD screen.
And you can see all the traces there that go to each of the parts of the numbers. I'm actually trying to fry it. That's so kind of hoping it would be better because I took this LCD right here. Took this LCD right here out of my mp3 player which was not working and I'll try to fry that right now Now what's cool about this is as you can see it's broken right there and that's from this thing this zapper or uh, what's left of the zapper yo does just make sparks. It's kind of hoping I can get it to blow. to blow and then you see if I get that clear. Oh, looks like that's all I'm gonna get. There you go, a little photonic induction there. Bummer on him leaving like that.
No, nope, like I said, I ain't doing nothing. Try the circuit board. It's out of an old digital camera. I don't know what this is gonna do. This is the CCD. No, let me zoom in on that. Oh, I'm just kind of hoping for something on that little, on the CCD right there. There's really nothing else I can really fry. Try this. I don't know how that's coming up on the camera, but it's probably distorted as hell. Alright, what else we got? Not much. I do have this thing, though. This is pretty cool. I did this before I even started, rec started recording.
There's a little chip right there. And hitting these little test points right here caused all this right here. See, that's the blob. The blob of the chip. And hitting these test points with a zapper. This fly zapper. Caused that to blow out like that. That's what I was doing. That's my own little tribute to photonic induction. Let's try this LCD again. No noise, just a lot of uh, flickering up. There's a snap. Yeah, but it just, as you can see, it just exposes all the tracks, leading to all the numbers. So this and this went together. This is one of the cheapo thermometers. So you took a button battery and then there's the actually no wait, not a thermometer, it's a tire pressure gauge. And that's what you put on your tire. And as you probably tell that's hasn't fared too good. This hose is like really hard and thick. But the air from the tire goes in there. And this goes on to here, like that. So that's covering that. And then so the pressure pushes this button. And then I'm assuming this is like a pressure gauge right here. Very tiny. That was not like that. I've been frying that with zapper. And then that is where this LCD went. And then it was covered by a plastic thing which I've thrown out. And then you got this guts of a digital camera is an analog devices chip whatever that is maybe that's like for the lens or something there's a memory yeah this is red socks I don't know why I'm sure the Boston Red Sox don't make this <laughs> of course I'm a Yankee fan this is where the SD card goes Card just fits in there like just like that. Made in China, yeah, I know. I'm probably gonna try to save this SD card holder because I could use it for things. And then there's a CCD which I've delightfully destroyed and fried with my zappa. And there's the docking thing right there. There's the USB port. And then that, I think, went to the display. That right there, I think it went to, like, part of the dis display, I think, for the light or something. I don't know, and then there's this little chip here. And 
And then you got your little coils right there. That's a little chip. The little chip is a chip under there. I'm thinking that's a CPU. This is kind of technology is like way ahead of me. It's all surface mount. And all those little parts there. Those are all resistors. Resistors, transistors, capacitors. It's all been shrunk. There's some bigger ones. Yeah, this is an old camera. It suffered from a broken LCD screen. If anyone knows what camera this went to, good for you. As I'm not saying. I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.